Hello and welcome to my channel. Everybody has ugly coasters, so I want to show you how to pimp them up. Let's go. I have some ugly coasters that doesn't look as good or as expected. Um, and I think resin is much too expensive uh, to throw it just in a bin. So I'm trying to make something beautiful out of those mm, misfits. <laughs> First of all, I put a mask on because I don't want the dust from uh, sanding the coasters down, not in my lungs. And here I take a nail file. It's like a, a, a very soft one, so um, I don't sand the edges uh, for the main part, but the inside of the coaster. And because it's a soft file, it gets to the uh, crevices uh, another file like a hard one uh, wouldn't get to. And when I'm done doing this, I will paint the coasters with white acrylic paint because I don't want the, the colors uh, from the coaster showing through. I keep looking at that black coaster and it's so ugly and I, I really look forward to uh, how it looks when I'm done with it. I do that for all three of the coasters and the small piece too. I do that because I want the, the color, the paint, have something to grab on uh, when I'm painting those uh, smooth surfaces and uh, if I like sand it it will the, the, the paint will stick much better to it. I put you all on a time lapse and we'll see each other on the other side. I take a small cup now and I put some white acrylic paint in there. This is just any uh, cheap acrylic paint. You can use anything. So I will do that um, three times and in between um, I will take my hair dryer and um, blow the coasters or the, the paint on the coasters dry. Otherwise it would take too long. So I will speed this video back up and we'll see each other on the other side. At the end, I want some uh, like white layer on the surface of the coasters. So here I have some uh, printed parchment paper, and I used to do jelly prints with my jelly plate. Um, and I'm trying to uh, look through my papers. Uh, on, on what kind of paper I want to use uh, for the coasters. And um, this is only acrylic paint. Some of them are glossy, like uh, with uh, paint from PBO. Um, others are just matte. Um, and I'm trying to decide which ones to take for my coasters. These are the ones that I picked out and now I'm trying to decide which one I'm really taking. This one I like very much, but it's enough to make four coasters, so I was figuring um, I'd do a set with those. That's why I didn't use that on this project.
And this one caught my eye because it has like a rounded shape in the middle. And this is the one I use. At least for one of those coasters. And I'm tracing around it and I will cut it out. And I do that for all three coasters. Again, a time lapse so you won't get bored. I have chosen now my three papers with the little one and um, now I'm going to put them on with this gloss varnish. I use as much uh, varnish as I need and um, I put a, a, a thicker layer of it on the coaster because I want the papers not to come off when I'm putting my resin on top of it later. I fit the paper on there and I rub it like really tight so there be no air bubbles underneath. I have to fix some because I probably have not enough varnish underneath. Yeah, and the edges have to be uh, a tight seal on top too. So I'm painting the, the surface of the paper with the gloss varnish as well because um, yeah, like I said, I want it to stick thoroughly. I do that for all three, like in the time lapse you see. Now I have some glitters there, different colors, different sizes, and I'm trying to figure out uh, which colors or which glitter I want to use uh, that fits to my colors of the coasters. With the green one, I'll do something else. Uh, I'll show you later. So now I'm taking my gloss varnish again. Oops, there was a little bit much. And I let the, the gloss varnish where I glued the paper on the coasters dry before I painted this with the glitters. Like, I, again, I'm putting you on high speed. This is a speedy video because it takes too long if I let it run just like that. So I'll see you on the other side. So like I said, uh, with the green one I'm trying something different um, and therefore I paint like, um, how do you say that, uh, branches, green branches on there and I will put some flowers uh, in between those branches. And again, high speed. <laughs> So I'll show you uh, how to make some flowers with heart-shaped uh, sequins. Um, you just put the, the peaky part uh, to each other and <laughs> ready is the flower. Really easy. 
And now I will put some blue glitter, uh, chunky glitter, um, it's like hexagons, uh, in the middle of the flowers so they look more like flowers. I made up a small amount of uh, resin and I'm doming my pieces with it. And I will show you that only with the green one in speed up version uh, because it's always the same. You put your resin on and you like put it where you want it to and uh, take the torch and get rid of the bubbles. Always the same in speedy version. I had some resin left and you see me pouring this on my uh, kitchen trivet uh, for little tiles that I use for uh, mosaic pieces. So and this is how the finished uh, piece looks. It's not perfect uh, and um, uh, some of them are really round and I don't know what I'm going to do on the bottom. Maybe some of y'all have an idea and you can leave a comment. I would very much appreciate that. Yeah, that's the gold one. I like that too. It has some dimension to it. I'm probably going to do a flood coat when I know what I'm going to do to the bottom. Um, so they look all nice. And here's the green one. It's a little bit different. And i just seen that the marker I used uh, was running underneath the resin. Well, nothing is perfect. So I just decided to paint the edges of the green one in silver and uh, this is it for now. I'll leave them to try and then I'll see what I'm going to do with it. And because they're bendy I was thinking I put some uh, of those little silicone feet with uh, stickers underneath um, so I can use it anyway. Maybe not for a coaster but for a little trinket dish or something like that. Thanks for watching and I hope you had a lot of fun just like me. If you like what I did, please subscribe to my channel or ring the bell or leave a thumbs up. I liked it very much and it's very much appreciated. Until next time, bye bye!